name is John Van Driesen. I'm the President and CEO of GWR Resources. And we trade on the Toronto Venture Exchange under the symbol GWQ. Um, GWR Resources is a junior exploration company that, which is focused in the uh, southeast portion of British Columbia. Um, that is the Quinell Trough. Um, the company is exploring there for copper, gold, silver and magnetite. We are a company which has a 43101 compliant resource which is shown on our website. Um, in 2013 we've taken a step back after 25 years of exploration on this site to review the data set that we have. From 2012 forward uh, what we've done is take our historical data and put that into a GIS system which allows us to do three-dimensional modeling of the data. Included in that data is over 225 kilometers of core. Um, in 2012, we did an extensive um, soil survey over our entire block, which comprises about 39,000 hectares. Uh, what is that's allowed us to do is to look at the relationships we've identified between historically drilled resource and or bodies in the property and the soil samples to identify which, identify which are the, the strongest pathfinders for other portions of the property. Our flagship project is in the Quinell Trough in British Columbia. That's located approximately 45 minutes uh, south of Williams Lake, which is the regional service center. Um, the project is located roughly 15 kilometers from Highway 97, which is the main north-south transportation corridor there. Uh, in 2013, what we did was analyze the, the data which we had accumulated over the previous 25 years. That data includes the information we've gained from our 43101 compliant resource, the 225 kilometers of core that we have, the soil survey which we did in 2012, and historical modeling that we did. Um, insiders have been buying in the last 12 months, and the reason for that is the factors which include the perception that the market has turned in terms of demand for commodities, that the capital markets have turned to make financing easier, a deeper understanding with regard to the available resource, and a great anticipation in terms of what 214 is going to bring for the company and in terms of results which we found from our exploration program. The next catalyst is the uh, announcement of the exploration program for 2014 and the uh, news uh, which is going to be associated with that. Uh, we anticipate that there will be a series of roadshows uh, to go out to the financial community. Uh, meetings with investors, uh, including uh, teleconferences, and then the placement of financing for that exploration program. There's three, I would say. Firstly, Imperial Metals. Um, aside from their Red Crisp project, um, they have a number of other existing projects and uh, a pipeline of world-class uh, properties. Uh, they have an excellent management team. Uh, they have managed their capital cost of exploration second to none. And with Red Chris coming into production in 2014, uh, their debt levels will be excellent and uh, their ability to carry their other projects forward. Uh, second uh, company which I admire is Happy Creek. It's a junior exploration company. It has uh, projects in South Central British Columbia. Um, their project uh, profile, I think, is superb with exposure to copper, uh, rare earths, um, and that they have done a very, very good job of managing their capital. The third company is New Gold. Uh, New Gold has brought on a number of projects, has been very aggressive with regard to the exploration of their Blackwater project, recently made some excellent announcements with regard to the cost of the production in Ontario. And so again, they've managed their expenses very well at the same time that they've uh, moved um, their base forward. 
and again, with all three companies, um, my perception of their management is that they're uh, world class.